हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लर्न एस टी एम एल विथ नंदू जाधव एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट इनपुट कंट्रोल्स फर्स्ट वन दैट इज रेडियो बटन्स अनदर वन चेक बॉक्सेस एंड थर्ड वन दैट इज पासवर्ड सो लेट्स शेयर एट्रीब्यूट्स अनदर इनपुट कंट्रोल दैट इज रेडियो बटन्स दैट रेडियो बटन्स आर यूज to select a single option from the provided list when you want to select a single option from the provided list we can use this input control that is the radio buttons and to collect uh, such like information here suppose uh, you are select your favorite color and favorite color or suppose we want to uh, add here your class class your class may be 11th or 12th okay so any students can select a single class here that is the 11th class or 12th class okay so such kind of data can be collected by using this radio buttons and to insert radio buttons again html provide input type equal to radio as per its syntax it display a value which will be display to the viewer to the uh, form feeder is is placed at the outside of the angle bracket so here the first one is suppose element and suppose we want to insert another one so again input type equal to radio and value which will be display is comes at the outside of the angle packet okay we will see here see here class that is the 11th or 12 these are the radio button Now the main feature main function of radio button is that we can select a single option but here both 11 and as well as 12 both are selected the reason for this both selection is that we cannot group this radio buttons and to group this radio buttons we need to assign a name that is the common name to all these radio buttons so the first radio button here is for the 11th class so here i will give is a name name equal to i said here class here also we need to assign a name by using this name attribute and the name here for 12th also is com common that the cls if you give different name then all radio buttons with different name will be selected at a glance and to make a group for the single selection we need to assign a single name to all the radio buttons in available in that group so here we set name cls cls for the both that means we make a group we made a group of this both by giving the same name and different values okay the values will be given after then first we will check here here 11 and 12 here only one option is now selected and this is due to the grouping grouping of the radio buttons okay now we will display this class at the new line so another p tag but when they this 11th and this 12th will be displayed to the user but if you submit your form on that position in this position then no value will be submitted in a class field because we no just no yet assign any value to the first radio button and second radio button so to assign a value to all radio buttons we need to use this value attribute and value is given by using this value attribute so value for both that is value equal to 12 now this value if we select the first radio button then 
the value 11 will be submitted along with the form and if we select the 12th then the value 12 will be submitted along with the form submission so the value is also most important the name is also must okay so see, let us see the actual output here at the 11th and 12th clear the submission is not displayed here because we just uh, designing form not a submission submitting this form so uh, after submitting this form we will check the now the another one that by using radio button we can select single option but suppose you want to select a multiple option multiple list items available in that list then at that time we need to use uh, check boxes we need to use check boxes instead of that radio button so uh, select field here hobbies and in hobbies we can give multiple hobbies so many hobbies may be available and user uh, student any who fill up the form can have a multiple hobbies so they need to select multiple option at that time you can use this one so to insert checkbox input type equal to checkbox here also you can give the value uh, at the outside of the angle bracket that is suppose first one is suppose reading first one is reading we can also use another one that is here input type equal to checkbox suppose second one is the um, swimming swimming suppose you want to insert multiple so reading swimming dancing or suppose another one that is the singing singing that means all hobbies you can uh, insert here for the user selection okay already we but this remember these all check boxes are displayed in a single line and suppose you want to display the content at a new line you uh, need to use this br tag after each that is the first that is the second and this one is the third okay first we will save this one and check in our output just refresh see your hobbies you can select 11 or 12 reading swimming or dancing singing we can select multiple option by using this input control checkbox suppose you want to select uh, by default select uh, any value for example for the class we are collecting information from the 12th uh, class suppose so there is we can set the default value as a 12 no need to uh, give uh, selection for the students okay we can set the default value 12 here also suppose we uh, default we want to set as a reading then we can also set this reading as a default value okay and to set the default value for the radio buttons as well as for the check boxes as well as for the check boxes html provide this attribute that is the checked here also uh, reading uh, suppose first one second one suppose uh, dancing is also a default one we want to need to set as a default then you can here and here for the 12th we need to set the default value here also you can use the check the attribute okay see here after sub saving this one we will check See here, tilt is the default one. Reading and dancing will be set as a default value. When you uh, refresh this page, you see the default value of radio buttons and the check boxes. So these are the single line text box, multi line text box, radio buttons, and check boxes. Okay.
there is another input control which is like a single line text box that is password password field okay this password field password field is displayed as like a single line text box but the contents which are entered in that input control will be displayed like a asterisk or a, like a bullets so to secure for for the security purpose we need to uh, use this type of input input field so to insert a password field html again provide input type equal to the value for this uh, input control is a password input type equal to password see we will check there this password field must be displayed new line if one then use p tag here then open the refresh this page this is the password and when you use add any contents it displays as a bullets or as a asterisk like single line text box you can control the width of this text box field that the password field by using size and you can also control the max length like single line text box you can set by using this max length that is this one is the password field mainly used for the security so today we see three input controls of the form that is radio buttons check boxes and password the remaining input controls we will see in our next video so keep watching keep learning and stay with me thank you